Good morning and win forever, people of God. My name is Anthony Pastor of Peace Ark Ministry. Alright, so uh, for the past one or two weeks, I've been seeing videos circulating online about uh, this secular artist, P. D. D. Pop Daddy. When we were growing up, we used to hear those kind of music and all that. Yeah. Pop Daddy has been a ledge of so many things, so many crimes that we are charged with, so many crimes and all that. But you see, the case is not the charges, it's what have you learned. Now, let me tell you something. There's what you call gatekeeper. There are people that are gatekeepers to levels, rooms, leverages, platforms. If you don't, if you don't have access to them, or if you, you can't have access to your next level, if you don't pass through them. And what I mean by next level is there are some doors that you want at all costs, and they're going to present that to you. So, okay, this is the price you need to pay for you to get that. Now, you see that there has been a ledge of, um, I don't want to mention those things, I mean, a lot of stuff. And linking up to some people that are in the limelight today in their music career, linking up to some people that got Grammy and all that, you know. So it was like, no problem, we can give this to you. If you get this, you'll get that. This is for young ministers, pastors that are also in the limelight or trying to be in the limelight and all that. Don't look for things at all costs. Be contented. I got to be Prophet Tishon and I learned one thing from him contentment. Don't forget, he wasn't a poor man. He wasn't a poor man. He was highly rich and wealthy. But, none of those things entered his head. He was so contented that he, he didn't want to stretch his hand to get what he didn't. It wasn't for, it wasn't for him. Till that man left this world, I have not witnessed one day and on the Sunday we said, okay, today, we have um, a guest minister all the way from Susu Place that is coming to share the word of God with you. Or this week, we have five ministers that are coming to share the word of God with us. I've never heard of that. Oh, okay, as you're going to the crusade, we're going to have 20 ministers on the billboard and uh, the, the, these people are going to share the word of God with you. I mean, he didn't want to associate with anybody. And that's what kept him in power to the day he left his war. You didn't see him mingling with people. He was contented. He was resolved. He lived his life. Because he knew that if you want to mingle with some people, you're going to also need some gatekeepers. There are some things you will need and they will give you some condition and fulfilling those conditions may take you out of the will of God. He didn't do all that. And I've learned those things from him. I will never invite anybody to come to my church. To preach. I'm okay. That man left that ministry without that, and the ministry was so big, known all over the world, and he didn't die. I've learned that lesson. Because by the time you want to be like that pastor, you want to know some pastors in Nigeria, you want to stay with them so that you can call them, be on their convoy, be on their uh, billboard, be on their. You will, not, you will compromise. Because definitely you'll meet some gatekeeper that will tell you, no, you can't talk with them, you can't roll with them without meeting this condition. And that is the issue some of us are having today. There are some doors you pray they don't open. There are some doors you don't push open because if you open them, you will regret why it didn't stay out. I give thanks to God every day for the life of Prophet T. I give thanks to God every day for the life of that man. He has made me to know that some things are possible. Some things we thought were not possible are very, very possible. You can live a safe life, a life where you have peace of mind and still have achieve purpose and fulfill purpose in this life. I have only one spiritual father and I have only one spiritual mother. Pastor Village Joshua as my mother, Prophet Joshua as my father. If you know me well, not on, on YouTube, I don't want you to look at someone boasting, you know that I'm very focused and determined. If I want to do something, I do it. If I don't want to do it, I leave it. And I'm going to be loyal to this man and this woman till the end of time. Till the day I leave this world. That's my spiritual father. That's my spiritual mother. I don't want to hear from here and hear from there and hear from here. In short, after the day I met Prophet Tim Joshua, 20, left, nobody made sense to me again. I'm sorry to say that, but that's just the truth. Nobody made sense to me. There's nothing you can preach to me that will make sense to me. There's nothing you will tell me that will make sense to me because I'm, I, I have... I have focus. This is where I hear from. I don't hear here, I hear here. I hear from one person and I keep my focus on. Whatever you see me do is what I hear from him. 
I learned how to pray for him, how to fast, to be determined, to be contented, to be simple. I learned all that from him and it's helping me in my ministry. I didn't see him invite people to come and be preaching in his spiritual audition uh, thereby protecting the altar. I have not done it and I will never do it. I didn't see him having programs every week, every month. And so I don't have it. I'm not doing it because I'm loyal and respecting. I understand that they are gatekeepers. But I think I want to associate with all the pastors in Ekwaibom and I want to know that pastor in Nigeria, uh, this pastor here in Kenya, this pastor in Ghana, I will start compromising. Because you get to the point where you get to them, you know them so well that you can live. And you start doing what they're doing. That is the issue with this PDD stuff. I hear pastor, do what God called you to do. Just stay focused. I hear a minister, a limelight or in the limelight or about you have future. Stay where God wanted to stay. Do what God asked you to do. There's no award for having friends. It's no award. It will rob you of your peace. Some friends will rob you of your peace, rob you of your focus and discipline. Stay focused, stay pitted. So the best thing that does happen to this man will not happen. Now, you're going to be linked up to many people. Many people that were still with him will start running into trouble. Some will start running away. Yes, that's what happened. When you open some doors, they are gatekeepers in this life. Don't be greedy. Don't want to drive Prado when you can't even buy Toyota Corolla. Everything will come and fall in place. So that ministry six years ago. I said ministry six years ago. Six years ago. It has been filled up and they finished. Filled up and they finished. I didn't tell anybody around me what was going on. Even my church members, when I shared the testimony that they knew that uh, this man. I didn't share because I knew that there are some gay people that tell, no, nah, what are you doing? You can't do that. Come, let me take you somewhere. The church will fill up. When I had the opportunity to meet with Pastor Lord Joshua, I said, Mommy, this is what your son has been going through in ministry. And the only thing she said, she said, it cannot happen. She said, it cannot happen. Today. Today. This would be that after my anniversary, the church will be empty. As that last service, as that last service, the extra we used to keep outside, we are put inside the auditorium, filled up. I mean, my church service and the entire auditorium will fill to capacity. I didn't talk to anybody about it. I went to my spiritual source. I went and said, Mommy, this is what I've been going through. And she uses her spiritual influence and spoke. And the door opened for me. And I have peace of mind. I didn't tell other pastors around me. Why? I didn't want anybody to give me wrong advice. I didn't want anybody to take me to a gatekeeper. I said, no, no, no. In this town, you must do this and do that. I did the right thing. Because I have focus. I have only one spiritual father and only one spiritual mother. I went back. I said, this is my problem. And they spoke and the door became open. And I'm happy. I have peace of mind. I don't have it to, I'm not owing anybody anything. I don't uh, need to fulfill some condition by night or day for ministry to stand. She spoke and I'm fine. And nobody will come one and say, uh, come, you're linked to that pastor. You're linked. You will never hear anything like that about Tommy. Because I've never heard anything like that about my father, Prophet Tim Joshua, then my mother, Pastor Evelyn Joshua. Learn from this PDD stuff. Call yourself to order. Stay focused. You have a spiritual father? Stay with that spiritual father. Do you have a spiritual mother? Stay with the spiritual mother. Or be obedient to God. Continue to pray for him or her. Continue to save. Continue to be humble. And God will use them to bless you. Stop looking for shortcuts. There's no shortcuts. It's no shortcut. By the time you need a shortcut, you miss some gatekeepers and you make mistakes and some doors will open for you and the moment you enter into that room, you will regret why it didn't stay out. I hope you understand it clearly. God bless you. Have a faithful day ahead.